let's do this. So today, um, in preparation for Inktober, I wanted to bring about what you could do if you decided to do Inktober without black ink. I don't know if I will entirely do that, but I have really, really been enjoying drawing on black paper with white ink. <laughs> so today I wanted to talk about that, and I kind of wanted to review some of... I wanted to review some of the things I have been playing with, and because I kind of went on a... <laughs> Uh, a buying binge. There were a few things that I discovered about the products that I bought that I wanted to share with you because not all of them work the way you want them to. Or at least they didn't all work the way I wanted them to. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was this black drawing paper. Um, I ended up buying two for the price of one the other day and was like, oh wow, I've never played on black paper, at least not in a long time. I've definitely done it at some point. But I didn't have the right tools, so I was really frustrated with it. So that's part of what I want to talk about today. So this is Canson black drawing paper, and it says color pencil gel pens, metallic markers. I want to try out so many things on this paper. I love it. I really like the texture of it. It's really nice and smooth, so it, it makes for a really nice drawing surface. So I'm going to sacrifice one of these. Then I'm going to show you what some of this paper does, what this paper really does. With these various tools that I have brought, which are, there's a bunch of them. There's dip well ink and nibs and a gel pen and colored pencil. I want to talk about all of these and then my least favorite, which is the Deco Color opaque white paint pen. I wanted to kind of go from what my favorite to my least favorite thing was and my least favorite, go from least favorite to my favorite thing, and my least favorite was this deco color paint pen. You have to shake it to use it. Shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Did you know you're not actually supposed to shake Polaroids like this? Makes a good song lyric though. Anyway, so here is what the deco pen does. And it makes a mess. It's kind of fun if you like use it as a splatter technique because it just splatters all over the place. But when it dries, it's not opaque like you would think. It dries more like this. So it, I guess it's doing okay, but it's a little bit more transparent than I would like to see um, in something that calls itself opaque. You are opaquely wrong, sir! So, the next thing I wanted to talk about was... Prismacolor. And this is... very thin. So, this one did okay. Again, it's not as opaque as I would like. However, when you use it for just adding some shading to things. It's kind of fun, but it never really builds up to white, white. So this is the Prismacolor Very Thin Pencil, and it does okay. It doesn't do great. However, now we're getting into the things that I really do like, and this is the Daler Rowney Acrylic Artist's Ink, which I had never heard before. This was a random purchase at uh, Dick Blick Art Supplies the other day because it looked like fun. I wanted to see if it would work. And yeah, last time I used this to write. Daler Rowney Ink. So this is just kind of, whew, that's kind of fun. Okay, so I just, I love ink in general because you can get this really <laughs> splattery look to it. Um, I find that very satisfying when you can just make bubbles and splatter ink all over the place. That's my favorite thing to do. I love the way splattered ink looks. <laughs> um, but sometimes you want to be a little bit more controlled. So, um, you should always wash your nibs, especially when you're using acrylic ink. I'm 
being terrible today. Um, but this is one of my favorite things to use. It's a crow quill pen, and I think eventually I want to do a video where I just talk about these guys. Um, but when I first started drawing on black paper with this stuff, this is what I grabbed first because I figured I'd, you know, probably be able to get what I wanted out of my nibs. But the problem is... It kind of dries a little transparent, which I didn't love. It did okay, but you can kind of see it drying here, where it's really not opaque. You can, after a while, start to build it up. So what I ended up using this for most of the time was construction lines, so that I could really try some things out without putting really ink ink on paper. But I was actually very surprised that this didn't do as well as I would have liked. This was not as satisfying. Even when I used a paintbrush. And <laughs> I apologize for this paintbrush. It is pretty sad. But whatever. So I did try it with an ink brush a couple times. Or a paintbrush, rather. Um, but again... I did not love it as much as I had hoped I would. Though again, if you're doing splattery stuff, paintbrushes work great. In parts, I, I would say that this ink is the most versatile because you can get it really thin and loose and, and uh, use it as construction lines or you can get it really thick and get something really interesting looking, but you do have to layer it up in order for it to dry opaque. Now, if I don't love all of these other things, what is it that I've been doing these sketches with? Well, something that makes my middle school self incredibly happy. Gel pens! Now, I don't think this will show up. There it is. It's upside down. That's helpful. Mm. Whatever. It's called a jelly roll pen, and I had heard it recommended on um, Echo Gillette's channel because she uses these all the time, so I really wanted to try them out. And I love this pen so much. It is 100% my favorite thing out of all the things I've been drawing with lately, mostly because the first time you draw with it, it comes out white. It actually is the most opaque out of all of these, but the other nice thing is you can take these again, layer over it, and make it brighter and brighter and more opaque, but you don't have to fight with it as much as this acrylic artist ink. Now that we've kind of reviewed things, I would really love to just sketch. I have something I want to finish for an art auction, so I'm going to doodle that, and then I'll meet you on the flip side, my friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for new ones coming out currently every other Thursday. And if you'd actually like to see me draw with the white ink that I reviewed, here's a video for that, and down below is a mystery video. Well, actually, it's a mystery to me, You'll actually see what it is, so you'll have to let me know what it is. Have you guys ever drawn with white ink? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I'll see you later. Okay, bye!